Hey, fucking subscribe. Hey guys, um, it's probably one of the most important videos I ever made that I'm about to make right now. Now listen carefully. Really important video because this is 23 years of trial and error of failures, of um, success, everything combined in a nutshell. A lot of research went into this, right? I'm gonna tell you guys the biggest secret to making it in life. Biggest secret, bigger than balls. I'm just fucking with you. All right, um, where do I start? I don't know where to start because this is so important. All right, how do you get shit done? How do you motivate yourself to just to just go beyond limitations, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't care about the, how long this video is gonna be, right? I'm warning you right now, it's gonna be longer than two minutes, probably longer than four or five minutes. So if you got some other shit to do, go ahead and move on. But if you're part of Team 3D and you're trying to make shit happen, you wanna let the beast inside of you come out, you wanna unleash the monster, and this video's for you. All right, before I even get on the topic, I wanna tell you guys, I'm hoping you already know this. Emotions. I mentioned that in some of my other videos, emotions. Human beings, we are guided by our emotions. It makes us, it breaks us. Emot your emotions, your moods, they decide whether you're gonna make it, whether you're gonna fail, whether you're gonna go up, down, left, or right. Unless you didn't know this by now, well now you know. The reason why you failed on Monday was because of the way you were feeling on Monday. The reason why you made it on Tuesday is because of how you were feeling on that day. We all know this. If you wake up one day and you feel like shit, your whole day goes like shit. If you get up one day and you feel great, what happens during that day? Good shit begins to happen to you. You start getting stuff done. Why do you think we get all these impulses? One day you don't want to study or do anything and then you fail. One day you just feel like doing all the homework in the world. You feel like asking your professor for more homework. You know, why? Because of the way you were feeling that day. So once you know that, don't you think you should do... You ugly ass crow. Get out of my window. I hate ravens, man. They're bad omens. But anyway, so don't you think you should like take advantage of that, of that secret, that knowledge that your emotions guide you? I was in my other video. I mentioned the horse. That's how you control the horse. The direction the the, the the horse wants to go, he will turn his neck that way. If he doesn't turn his neck that way, the horse cannot turn into that direction. So what people do, what a rider does, is if he wants his horse to turn right, he turns his you know neck right, and that's how the, that's how you turn the horse left and right. So even though it's a powerful animal, his neck dictates every move that he makes. Same thing with us, our, since our moods dictate everything, you wanna have full control of your moods. Now, how do you do that? It's simple. I pull out a piece of paper one day, right? And I woke, I wrote down all the negative emotions or the negative moods that a normal human experiences. Anger, sadness, b boredom, all these things. I wrote them down on the left side of the piece of paper. Then on the right side, I wrote down the opposite of those moods. So for example, when you're feeling like shit, what's the opposite of feeling like shit? Feeling like you this shit, feeling great, you know, pride. When you're feeling alone or panic, what's the opposite of that? Curiosity, interest. When you're feeling, um, uh, when you when you when you feel like I don't know, lonely. What's the opposite of that? You know. So I wrote down on one side all the negative moods, and on the other side I wrote down all the moods you would rather have when you have the negative mood. That's that's the first step. Now you're thinking, why would you do that? Well, it's simple. When you're thirsty, what do you do? You drink water, right? You do the opposite of that. When you're hungry, what do you do? You eat food. If that crow does not stop looking at me. When, you, um, when you're hungry, you eat food. You do the opposite of that. When you're sleepy, you go to sleep. When, you, you know, when you're tired, you lay down. You do the opposite, right? So obviously when you're feeling something like, um, like, like anger, or let's say fear, the opposite of fear is, is hope. The opposite of fear is, um, is peace. So obviously when you're feeling afraid, you want to feel that opposite feeling, right? Now, how do you do that? Here there goes the secret. M-U-S-I-C. Why do you think I always have dick shit on in all my videos? That's not fucking proud. That's not to, to look cool. I need this shit. This is my whole life. Music. Music is the answer. Now, not just any kind of music. Do you know that every song, every song that you listen to, every song on your playlist gives you a different type of, type of mood? It's unbelievable. Every music makes you feel a certain way. Now, there goes the secret. For example, if you're feeling afraid one day, remember that's one of the negative emotions is fear. You want the opposite of that of that emotion, which is peace or hope, right? There are songs that give you that, and everybody's different. The song that gives me hope or the song that makes me feel at peace might not be the one that makes you feel at peace. But you can look in your, in your own playlist, in your own you know iTunes library, and fi and figure out the song that makes you that gives you that kind of response, that kind of emotional response. 
then you play that song. Just like when you're thirsty, you drink. When you're feeling afraid, you play the song that makes you feel hopeful or peaceful. And the next thing you know, you're into a different state of mind, and now you can go ahead and achieve what that state of mind allows you to achieve. For example, when you're feeling hopeful and peaceful, you're able to do you know, certain things better. So this is what I do. If I want to go to the gym, for example, I already told you guys in one of my videos. If I want to go to the gym and I feel like shit, obviously don't just get up and go to the gym when you feel like shit because you're not going to do shit. What do I do? I look at my piece of paper where I wrote down the negative and positive emotions and I go, oh, I feel like shit. But I feel, let's say I feel shame, I feel remorse, I did something bad, I feel guilty, whatever. The opposite of that is pride, self-confidence, and hype. Right? So I go, okay, right now I'm feeling like shit and I want to feel hyped. I want to feel proud and self-confident. So I go to my playlist and I look for the songs that make me feel this way and I play those songs. Then I, in a matter of seconds, the moment the song goes on, boom, because I put that song there. I know, what, you know, I know what, what music makes me feel which way. The moment that song goes on, my mood just shifts as if it's magic. And next thing you know, I'm ready to go to the gym. Fuck Jack 3D. I'm already pumped up now. And I know it sounds simple, but you have no idea how powerful this thing is, you know? So when you get up one day... Like I said, after you watch this video, make sure you do that. Pull out a piece of paper, write down your neg negative emotions that you normally feel. And on the right side, write down the opposite feeling, right? That conquers that emotion. Then, in the further, you know, on the complete right side, right next to that, you want to write down the, the songs that will give you that feeling. For example, like I said, fear is the negative emotion, right? The opposite of that is pride and, you know, I mean, it's, it's um, hope and peace, right? So right next to hope and peace, I have a list of all the songs since I was little up to now, that make me feel peaceful, that make me feel, you know, that, that give me hope. So I have a playlist in my iPod for each of those moves that I want to get into. Like the moves, here, here's a list of some of the positive emotions. Curiosity, attraction, desire, surprise, amusement, amazement, hope, peace, gratitude, triumph, joy, pride, generosity, you know, all these love, right? And I have a playlist for all of these positive emotions, believe it or not, in this little iPod here. So do the same thing, write, you know, write down the negative emotions, write down the positive emotions, then next to the positive emotions, have a playlist, right? Because you, only you know the songs that make you feel good. I can't tell you that, you know the songs that make you feel good. Write down all the songs that give you those positive emotions. This way, when you get up one day and you feel like, uh, I don't know, you feel a negative emotion, you go to your chart, you go, okay, I feel, you look at the negative emotions, you go, oh, I feel this one. You look right next to it. This is the, the way I feel, but it's the way I want to feel. And then you go to the right, and this is the song I have to play to feel this way. You see? It's so simple. One, two, three. So remember, you get up. If you're feeling bad, you know, even if you don't have to wake up in the morning. Even if, you, even if that negative emotion happens in the middle of the day, pull out your chart. All right, I feel this one. Negative. Right next to it, this is the one that I actually want to feel like. All right? This is the playlist I have to play. Then you go to your iPod and you play that playlist that has all the songs that make you feel this way. Next thing you know, your mood shifts. You feel pumped up. And boom, you're ready to take on your day. Trust me, if it wasn't for this strategy thing, I don't know how I would manage two jobs, a full-time schedule at school, college, which ain't easy nowadays. Gas prices soaring up the fucking sky, right? My own personal problems, my own mountain of debt, all these things, my family problems, all these things. How do you think I manage all that? Music. Music. It's the secret. It's the secret to life. It's the secret to, to achieving everything you want to achieve. All right, guys. I think this video is really, really long. My old jokes aside, let me look at it. I'm actually scared right now. Oh, God. Nine minutes long. All right. I hope this video will help, man. There's a lot of stuff that I want to mention, too. But like I said, this is too long. It's too much all in one. But just remember... In a nutshell, have your negative emotions on one side of the page, your positive emotions, and the songs that give you those positive emotions. This way, when you get up, you know how to direct yourself. You have, we humans are like machines. We literally, we like machines. You have to know how to work with your body. You gotta know how to, you can't just be like, oh, I feel like shit. Oh, well, I feel like shit. That's it, it's not like I can do about it. No, there is something you can do about it. And I just gave you the answer. You don't need pills or prescriptions or whatever. Hey, don't sue me for this shit. If you have prescriptions, do what you gotta do. But it's just advice. So, um, this is my secret. And like I said, I'm low budget anyway, so when I'm depressed, I can't go to the fucking hospital. I gotta find ways to take care of my moves. Alright, I hope this video really helps. Love you guys. More videos coming up. Uh, subscribe. Not really, subscribe.